Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. So how many more days is it till Christmas? <laughs> I was telling John, it was the other day and I said, we've got one month. And then you know what happens? He said, what? I said, the countdown to spring. Today we have so many good things. I've actually got my mic hooked to my Nay bra with the thin straps. I went myself and purchased a bundle. I did two of the black and then one of the nude. This is the most comfortable bra you will ever wear. I wear it year round and now is the time to get it. These are also perfect Christmas gifts. You guys know they have beautiful sweaters, you know, yoga things, the wrap sweater. I feel like I've shown you those so many times now, but I would say my favorites and their best sellers would be the Barely Zero line. It feels like butter. I mean, it feels so good. I actually gave mine to my mom and I ordered another pair. So in my order will be three bras and one pair of leggings. The biker shorts are also amazing because they don't have a seam down at the end. Neither do the leggings. There's no seams to like leave that line in your skin. And this would be a gift that everyone would love. This would be a gift that they would wear immediately, if not that day, but there's something about giving someone a gift that you know is going to be comfortable, they're going to love it, and it's going to be something they can wear every day. And it's kind of like a cool girl gift too because not everyone knows about this line. Naywai was founded in 2012 and the name Naywai means inside and outside. They seamlessly blend aesthetics and functionality with their styles that are made to live in. Their thoughtful range of lingerie, loungewear, and activewear prioritizes quality and comfort that moves with you throughout the day. Day. They unite the luxurious feel of their premium fabrics with innovative designs, fostering a state of ease and harmony inside and out. The Barely Zero line is designed to change the way you think about bras. Barely Zero adapts to your body and provides a comfortable fit you can rely on no matter where your day takes you. By far their most comfortable bra in the series. Use the code LISA20 for 20% off your first purchase on Naywai. Valid until 12 31 23. So I will put their link and information down below. You guys know I'm a Naywai partner. I have been for, gosh, over a year now. And I have worn all these things so many times that I know that you will love them. I feel 100% sure. And I had so many of you ask me about the quince cashmere that I bought some quince cashmere and I also purchased the Jenny Kane sweater and the Kate sweater. All three very, very similar. Let's start with the quince because that is going to be, I think, the lowest price point. Okay, so the quince is the Mongolian Cashmere Fisherman Cropped Cardigan Sweater. The price was $119.90 and I got the small black, but I have all ideas that they're having a sale. I think everyone is having a sale now. I would almost not buy anything if it's not on sale because it's just like cyber this, Friday that, you know, all of these good sales. This is the Quince Fisherman sweater. They're calling it cropped, but it's really not. It's just the fact that it's not a long cardigan. So let's try this on and see how it goes. You guys get to see everything now because I have this mirror here. That was one of the reasons I wanted to shoot here today. It feels amazing. Amazing. I mean, it feels so good. It's one of those sweaters that when you put on, you feel comforted. You feel, gosh, I think it's very, very chic very versatile, comes in different colors. I'll never be able to beat a black sweater for me to be able to wear it the most. Black and gray, like a charcoal gray might be my next. Black is always gonna be my go-to. I would say this is pretty fabulous. I just took some video of this. My Uggs, I felt like were ruining my look. I wanted to show you these. Remember I was telling you about the loafers I wanted to get? Well, I got these. Are they exactly what I want? Do they hit the total mark? Probably not, but they're very, very close and they were not expensive and they're very nice. They're from Splendid. I happened to see these, I believe on the Nordstrom website and they were out of my size. So I grabbed them off of the Splendid website and I believe they're having a sale. So I will be wearing these today. Full disclosure, I did 
could order another pair that many, many of you told me about that are much more expensive and we will compare the two. And then I'm probably just gonna close the book on that. <laughs> because it's not something I think I'll wear like a crazy amount. I think it's a very, very classy, classic vibe that is very chic. And I think a lot of us, no matter what your style or what your age could wear. The next one is the Jenny Kane. This is the cashmere cocoon cardigan and it is in the size small. And let's see how much it is. 25% off of everything. And it was, oh my gosh, a whopping, $4.95. So a quite a big price jump from the Quince cashmere cardigan. Right off the bat, I mean, it almost feels exact. And look at the, I think it's the exact same number of buttons. Let's see, let's compare the sleeves. Oh my goodness, okay. The end, this one has a slight just a very, very slight texture change at the end. Does this one? Yes. Oh my gosh. I think this one might be an exact dupe. Upon first wear, first try on, it feels like it might be ever so slightly bigger and heavier, which might be the reason it's heavier is because it's a little bit bigger. Oh, I do love it though. I do, I love them both. Very, very, very fabulous. I really love it. And I love it with the Spanx pants. These are the petite and the loafers. Wow, this is a conservative look that I really feel good in. The last one is the top of the top. It's probably the most expensive cardigan I have ever purchased and it's from Kate and I believe Katie Holmes made this popular with the little bralette from Kate sweater underneath it but it is the Kate Scarlet Cardigan in black and I've looked at many many try-ons of this sweater and reviews. People love it. It's a little bit different than this and I will say in a totally different category when it comes to the thickness. This is probably twice as heavy as both of these sweaters combined. So this is in another level as far as quality and we will see. We will see how it looks. I haven't tried it on yet. So let me try it on for you real quick. It's very different, very different. I don't even know if you could really put it in the same category as those because it's definitely a look. And the first thing I thought when I put it on is I thought, oh no, they're not going to like this. But I think this is part of the look is the long sleeves. They're very, see how it has a super wide cuff and it is kind of fitted. You guys, <laughs> It's nice. I did not want to really like this. I ordered it from Forward and they do returns, but I doubt this one's going back. And it's timeless. This is something that they're known for. This is something they bring out every year. My goodness, it is a splurge, but it is pretty fabulous. So let me go get some more footage of this so you can compare all three. But I will say, hands down, no doubt about it, the best look for your bucks is going to be that quince sweater. You are just not gonna be able to beat that and I think it's fabulous. I'm just gonna keep this on for the rest of the video. <laughs> I am like loving it, but it's definitely a splurge. If I didn't have a credit, I probably would not keep it but I know I didn't pay the full price for it. And you know, that's not like me. I don't usually say stuff like that, but that is how I feel. Okay, let me go ahead and show you the other Quince sweaters that I got. And of course I will put all the information down below because I don't have everything memorized, but their little tagline here on their tag is everything about this feels right. Quality, price, sustainability. And I would have never known about this line at all if you hadn't have told me. So thank you. And the first thing I got is this little, it's like a little cashmere sweater t-shirt, which I think will be an amazing layering piece or great for just the spring. Honestly, that's the thing about cashmere is you can wear it just about all year round and it's thin and just very wearable. And I really love this gray too. Not everybody does gray just right. Sometimes it's too brown, too taupe or too blue. This is perfection. And then this one is just a baby pink classic 
crew. I also love these with trousers, with jeans. They're just very minimal, chic, kind of your Carolyn Bissette Kennedy type look. And that pink is a good one. They do good with colors. They really do. That is a beautiful light pink. So thank you so much for inspiring me to try that because I am impressed, I will say. To me, it's very similar. It's not quite as nice and luxe feeling as the Lily Silk Cashmere, but it is very, very similar to the J. Crew, in my opinion, and the Bloomingdale's. Clarins is always so generous with me, and they sent me their V Facial Intensive Wrap. The luxurious cream mousse mask relieves puffiness to visibly refine facial features. So I might give this a try and see how it does, but... This was interesting to me. So thank you to Clarence. Then I couldn't believe this. I got a little gift from Gucci. Dear Lisa Lisa D1, with festivities approaching, we are hoping to present you with a special stationary set to share greetings with your loved ones this holiday season. We would also like to thank you for being with us and we embarking on a new creative chapter in our Gucci's history this year. And it says things about them having gifts and stuff. And... Just that box. I love Gucci's packaging. And this is probably something that they send to people that order things a lot, but it's the Gucci stationery. And it says, happy holidays from, and it has the Gucci. And you know, I love that horse bit design. Oh, I love it. So thank you to Gucci for sending that to me. Curling iron, another fabulous suggestion from Lux Mommy. She has really long hair, and when I was watching her videos, I was thinking, wow, I like her curl. And I asked her which one she used, and she said this one, and I was thinking, mm, you know, it's like, should I get that? I've got so many curling irons. But I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty picky. If they don't just clamp just right, if they clamp too hard and they don't slide down, if this thing's wrong, I mean, I will, they'll be gone out of here. So I ordered this one and got it and oh my gosh, it is so good. Let me tell you why. First of all, it has this nice tip on it to hold while you're curling. It's extra long if you have long hair. I have used it in the traditional way with the clamp, but then last night I used it as a wand. I wouldn't buy anything that wasn't adjustable. The heat right there. So you press the button one time and then you get it to where you want it. And I've been doing it at 320, which is for fine to medium hair. And then you click that button twice and it locks it in so that you're not beep, 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 beep every time you use it. The clamp is smooth and perfect and whatever it's made of just glides right down your hair. No e -e 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 feeling like that or just feeling like you're ripping your hair out and then you roll it up, let it out. I love that this isn't one of those springs that you have to put up or down. It's just perfect in every way. I did want to report back on this, and that's something that I really try to do because a lot of times I'll show you things, I haven't really tried them yet, but if someone sends it to me, I feel like I should share it. It's the Jane Iredell Smooth Affair Brightening Face Primer. This is beautiful. It feels so good when you put it on, but my makeup did not last very well over it. Maybe it's good for mineral makeup, probably is, but I remember have normal to pretty oily skin. My Express video, if you didn't see that, I'll put it up here. You can see I filmed that video in the afternoon, maybe about, I mean, two o'clock or something, and you can see how shiny my face is, because you guys usually see me right after I do my makeup but it gets pretty, I'm pretty oily. So this I think would be better for dry skin. This is something I really like. I barely mention it. And when I see it on Sephora, I think, why are they saying that's new? But it's the Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. Why are they saying that this is new? Because I've had this since it first came out. Was it something that they had and then they didn't have and then they just brought the same one out and they're calling it new, which I don't doubt, but let me know. So today I use this because I really do like it. As you can see, my most used colors are that one, that one, that one, and that one. But it is a good taupey nude 
palette and you could really, you know, get some looks with this. And I do think it's really, really pretty. I'm on the struggle bus with my foundation because my Hourglass Ambient number eight is just getting too dark. I have the six, I've tried the six, six and a half, seven and seven and a half, I believe. None of them have the same tone. I'm always looking for the same tone, but lighter. But then I was thinking, okay, maybe I don't want the same tone when I'm not tan. I don't know, but for some reason, I can't get in the groove with any of those. So I thought, what else did I love so much? And it was this, which is the Lancome Tint Idol, the new version. So in the summer, I just needed one color. It was the Neutral 355N. Well, yesterday I tried the 330N and I liked it, but it wasn't yummy and I didn't love it. So I remembered that I used to mix these two, the warm and the neutral, and that's what I have on today. And I think it's really pretty. I really like this. I'm really excited. I'm dancing inside because my foundation is very important to me that I have to like it to like my makeup. I mean, it's just like one of my most important things. So I wanted to tell you about that in case you want to try that. I did place an order with RMS Beauty. I think they have done a fabulous job with their marketing. They have that lady on Instagram that has gray hair and very charismatic. And I'm not sure how she is affiliated with the company, if at all, but I thought how wonderful of them to realize that sometimes a woman that is not in her 20s will sell things even better than someone who already has perfect skin and looks fabulous without makeup. So kudos to them for using a mature woman. And one of you sent me her ad and she was talking about this blush and it's called Crystal Slipper. I think there's three new ones and I already knew I liked these blushes. I have French Rose and Mai Tai. So I ordered it and I went ahead and ordered a few more things. I have worn this and it is everything she says. This is for the woman who really doesn't want blush. This is for the woman who just wants some color and to bring out her cheeks. It is so beautiful. It's not gonna swatch the best. Well, you can see it a little bit. See how it just brings a little bit of color to your cheeks and a little bit of glow. It's really unique, I have to say. Now, if I had to tell you what it's similar to, or if you like, if you like MAC Warm Soul, you'll love this. If you love Tarte Exposed, you'll love this. If you loved Burberry, was it Trench, that we loved so much, you'll love this. Any of those blushes that are emulating just a pinky beige color, you will love this. I think it's a must try. Now, if you like a big pop of color on your cheeks, of course, you're not gonna like this. I want to try the other two, just to see at least the pinky peach one. So in true Lisa fashion, when I look on a website or I'm placing an order, I'm going to check out their lip liners because that's my favorite product. So I got the RMS Beauty Go Nude lip liner, and these are so good. They come with this kind of brush on the end, which is kind of cool. And I will say, this is a good pencil. This reminds me of Lancome or Estee Lauder. Even though it's a pencil, it's not like you're, you know, trying to use a stick. It's smooth, but not too smooth and it lasts so good. I love it, I love it. So that's the Go Nude. This was a happy surprise. I think I have this one on today and it is the Nighttime Nude, both right up our alley. Makes me so happy and what a nice touch. Each lip liner not only comes with a sharpener, but it's one with a little lid, like a little baby lid. So, I mean, you still are gonna have to go empty it, and I did, but it was nice to be able to sharpen, and I actually sharpened another pencil with it. So I thought that was a really classy touch there. Okay, you guys, I'm really kinda like walking around in these shoes, and they're good. They're good, they're making me happy. This was my one dud from RMS, and it's a cream shadow. It's their most popular one, and it's called Myth. And I'm always intrigued by this type of color 
because in a perfect world, I would not even wear eyeshadow, but I do need a little bit. You know, my eyes are so deep set, I like to kind of recess my crease a little bit. So I was hoping this was going to be something like my eyeshadow stick with Christian Audette or MAC Groundwork or Laura Mercier Caramel or even Chanel Uninterrupted, that's a good one. But it wasn't quite enough for me, but gosh, the consistency is amazing. But there it is. So you can see it's still a beautiful color. It would be something good to put all over. And I wore it that day and loved it. It's not any better than what I have. And I wish it was just a little bit darker but it makes me want to try more because it's so pretty. So what do I have on today? I just remembered and I brought this out here so I would not forget. I did start off with one of the RMS products, but when I put on this lipstick, I felt like I needed something a little bit more. This is my Christian Audette lip liner in Paradise. So that is darker, but it's fabulous and it stays on all day. And then what I have on today is a new NARS lipstick in Breathless. And I can't decide if I like it or not. It's not something I loved right off the bat. It, you know, upon first glance would look like it would be something I would love, but it's a little too, I wish it had a little bit more of a white base in it. Like it popped a little bit more. It feels amazing. It is not too yucky. See how it didn't like smush all over the place. It's got good body. I do think it's pretty. I do. This is more of like that, like Mac kind of sexy, something like that. And I do think it's really pretty. So I'm definitely not returning it. And there's all kinds of good colors. So, okay, and then they had these that I've been looking for forever at Ulta and um, Sephora had them in stock. It's the NARS Power Matte High Intensity Lip Pencil. And I got Dolce Vita and American Woman. This one is Dolce Vita. That's a classic. I mean, going back to the original YouTube days, oh, I used to watch people in their makeup collections. Remember when they would have all of their NARS blushes out, like NARS Madly? That's another one that is a kind of a nudie blush. Okay, so this is Dolce Vita. Wow, I mean, it goes on like silk. Oh, that is so good. Okay, you know how I go through these phases. I will always love my light 60s or 90s nude lip, but there is a part of me that likes just my lips, but better, big, full, juicy lips. That is what I was thinking of here. And then this is American Woman. American Woman is a little bit lighter and I would say a little warmer, a little bit more of a peachy undertone. So good. So I just blotted with a paper towel and I thought I would put it on out here with you. So you can see I do still have you know residual, but I'm telling you guys, that's how you get the best lip combos is you layer. You layer lip liners, just keep on layering until you get what you want. And a lot of times that really does take putting something on, blotting it off, and then trying, and you'll get just like such a good combination. But I just wanted you to see this by itself. So I'm gonna use it as a lip liner first. Wow, so pretty. It goes on so smooth. And really work it in. That's how you're gonna get it to stay. That's a winner. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Now, I wanted to just show you what else I got at Ulta. And then I was upstairs and I keep this kind of out upstairs. A lot of times if I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day or just do a quick try on and I need some lipstick, I'll put this on and it's 177 Bare Reveal. It usually will top any lip combo that I have used that day and just kind of revive my lips and look good. It's one of my favorites. It's actually better than the Revlon Bare Affair or whatever that one is. I just really, really like it. Went to replace one of my favorites, which is the Kenra Blow Dry Spray Advanced Dry Thermal Protectant. They also have this in a light version and I've used both. I always just go with the original. This really does cut down your drying time when you're drying your hair. If you have kind of wiry hair like mine that will get huge and is hard to straighten, this really helps. It helps you round brush, it makes it smoother, and it's a heat protectant. So I thought, well, let me look while I'm here 
at what the other lines have to offer in that same type of product. And I ended up seeing one of my subscribers, Maria, and met her, so that was wonderful. I love it. I love it because like now, Maria, I think of you out there. It's just great. It makes it more personal. So I got something that I love, the Redken Quick Blowout. This is something else. I think it used to be called Pillow Proof. I'm not sure, but I have used this for years. In my other house, I used it and I love it. I had a small one and I blew right through it. Flash drying, 450 degree heat protecting formula. And it is like a primer and helps your hair blow dry faster. I think this one is a little bit more powerful as in making your hair silky, but sometimes it almost makes it too silky. You have to want, like I used this last night, so you can see it's, I mean, I hate to say it's too silky, but it's straighter. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. I also bought this, the Sexy Hair Style Flash Me Quickly Blow Dry Spray. Now those two claim to have a heat protectant in it. This one, I don't know if it does. Style as desired. This one doesn't say that it has a heat protector. So I would definitely still use a heat protector. I use a heat protector at every step. Okay, speaking of, my favorite, favorite, favorite is, and what I used last night, is the Paul Mitchell Neuro Protect Me, I think is, no, that's what this is. It's Protect, anyway, I'll link it down below because that's my favorite. But another favorite is this one. The Sexy Hair Style Protect Me 450 Degree Hot Tool Protection Spray. What I do is I each piece I bring out to curl, I spray, and then I brush it through. And I do like this. I think this may have a little bit more of a producty feel than the Neuro. And then if you really want more hold and heat protection, use the Paul Mitchell Iron Spray. So it just depends on what look I'm going for. And then I grabbed my favorite mascara ever, which is the L'Oreal Bambi Oversized Eye. But I will say the Benefit Bad Gal Bang is giving it a run for its money. Today I'll use the Benefit. Okay, this is still a little bit better at thickening. Bad Gal's better at lengthening. This is better at thickening. Blush, this is the one I'm wearing. And I blame you, whoever you are that asked me on Instagram, you're, you sent me a direct message and you asked, what was that light pink NARS blush you used to wear and you loved? And I thought, yeah, whatever happened to that? And it's impassioned. That is the name. So I grabbed it yesterday and I'm wearing it today and it is so pretty. And I was thinking, this is what makes a difference is the fact that it's light like this, but it's not chalky. A lot of times I will try a really light pink. I know I've tried some drugstore versions, but this is still sheer enough to give you the light pink wash of color, but not look chalky. So it is really, really pretty. I see why I liked it. I was looking for Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude at Sephora and they were out of it. So I ended up ordering it and the girl said she liked this one and that it was very similar. And it's from Too Faced Lady Bold and the color is badass. And you know, they had me right there. But you click it and it's, I would say it's lighter than the Iconic Nude which I was thinking a lot of you might like. This would be good to overline your lips just slightly. I'm not even saying go off the line, I'm saying go over the line just a little bit. It's actually a little too light for me, but I'm, I'm pretty much a light medium skin tone. If you're really fair, you might really like that. And then I've got two new brow products because I am just pretty freaked out that they have evidently discontinued that Dior brow that I love so much with the Kabuki brush. And so I thought, well, let me try some different things. So this is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow, which, I mean, here's the brush. And it's got the end that I like, and the color is like spot on. It's 2.5. So I'm not even sure what it's called, but the girl that has worked there forever said that's what I needed and it does look good. And then I don't think I've ever tried this, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat and I got taupe. And it is also 
that type of tip, but a teeny tiny one. And this one, I would say, has more color. I think I used this today. And I was doing, I wanted to do more of a round brow, because <laughs> I'm crazy like that. But um, both of these are good. Do they beat my Anastasia taupe? No, they certainly don't beat the Dior Blonde. But you know, I like to keep trying just in case. I think we are headed to this. Isn't that precious? I wanted to try the candle warmer. I see so many people like on Instagram show their favorite candle warmer but I knew I didn't want just any candle warmer. So I found this one that I think is so cute. It really goes with my vibe everywhere. And so John and I lit it up, you uh, plug it in, and then it has this little thing where you can set it for a time and you can set it like, I think it was like low, medium, high. It definitely works and it looks pretty. We tried it with my Italian Kush from Boy Smells, but I just think I prefer seeing a candle out burning. But I do know that a lot of you don't want to do that and it is supposed to make your candles last longer. And you know, some of you might have cats and you're worried about that or you might have children, you're worried about those different things that I don't have to worry about. So it's not for me, but I think if you're gonna try it, this is the cutest one I have ever seen. Let me tell you what I have on my ideal little diamond earrings. I have just been keeping my little L ideal necklace on. This is a Gucci ring that I bought years ago and I love it. I think they still have it available in like the gold colors. And I meant to put on my Bulova watch. Let me go get it. Here it is. This has been honestly one of my favorite purchases, which I am gonna do that video in December this month. I hate that I did not include this in my cool girl gift guide because to me, this is a cool watch because it's retro. It's like a remake of a watch that was popular back in, was it the 70s, the 80s, or the 90s? I'm not sure, but it definitely brings back that vibe to me. And when I saw it, it was like on this girl wearing it in New York on one of those videos and I ordered it immediately. I don't even know if it's still available. I hope it is. So that I think is a great one. And on my nails is Essie. It's an oldie, but a goodie, Essie Mademoiselle. It is just so good. Very similar to Chanel Ballerina. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you very soon in the next video.